For this stitch pattern you'll work with a multiple of five stitches and the pattern also recommends adding one stitch on each side to help neaten the edges. I've done that here but it still looks pretty sloppy so I would add some more plain garter stitches to the sides or some other type of border. I have 17 stitches on my needles. These are size 6 needles and the yarn is just a regular old worsted weight yarn that I got free with a magazine one time. This stitch pattern initially has you starting out with three rows and then after that you'll only be repeating rows two through three. The first row is just a purl row and obviously I've already done that here so I am going to be starting out with row two. I'll be showing you that row and row three and this is the front of the fabric. And row two, you're going to be working on the back side of the fabric, of course, which doesn't look too bad itself. So I'm just going to knit my border stitch here and then begin the pattern repeat. And for row two, it is slip one stitch knit wise, knit the next stitch, and then pass that slipped stitch over the one you just knit and then you're going to take your yarn around the needle and hold it in front of your work and you're going to slip the next stitch purl wise and then yarn goes to the back and you're going to knit the next two stitches together and then that is what you'll be repeating until you get to the end of your row slip one knitwise, knit, pass the slip stitch over, yarn goes around the needle and you're holding the work in the front, slip one purlwise, knit two together, slip, knit, Pass the slip stitch over, yarn around your needle, slip one purlwise, and knit two together. And then I'm just going to knit my edge stitch. For row three, again I'm going to knit my edge stitch. And then I'm going to begin my pattern repeat, and it's purl one. And then you can see here you have, this is the stitch that was slipped on the last row, and then your yarn over. You're going to be working both of these together. So you're going to knit into those stitches. Don't drop the stitches off the left needle. You're going to purl the same two stitches. And then you're going to knit them one more time before dropping them off the left needle. And then you purl one. That's the pattern repeat for the third row. It's purl one. Take your slipped stitch and the yarn over from the previous row and knit, purl, knit, and then drop them off the left needle and purl one. And this is my last repeat. And then of course when you get to the last stitch, you just knit your edge stitch or whatever you've chosen to do for the 
sides of your fabric. So you would just repeat rows two and three for the pattern.